MA1 Part B Cost Classification and Measurement Chapter 4 Management Responsibility and Performance Measurement The topics that this presentation will cover are 1. Responsibility Centers 2. Performance Measures 1. Responsibility Accounting is a system of accounting that splits revenue and cost into areas of personal responsibility, responsibility centers, so that the performance of each part of the business can be monitored and assessed. A responsibility center, is a function or department of the business, that is headed by a manager, who has direct responsibility for its performance. Responsibility centers are divided into different categories. Cost centers. Profit centers. Investment centers. A cost center is a part of a business to which costs can be attributed, it is a production or service location, function, activity or item of equipment that accumulates costs, and in order to collect costs to cost centers, each cost center will need to have a cost code. When costs are analyzed, there may be some apportionment of costs, from one cost center to other cost centers. The cost center which receives the apportioned costs, needs to divide their costs into directly attributable costs, for which the cost manager is responsible, and shared costs, for which the other cost centers are also accountable. The control system should be able to trace the costs, to the original cost centers, so that the managers involved can be made accountable for the costs incurred. In general a department would be a cost center and the product made by the business would be a cost unit. The information about the cost center might be collected in terms of Total actual costs Total budgeted costs And total cost variance, which is the difference between actual and budgeted costs. And the information might be analyzed in terms of ratios. These are examples of cost centers. A department A machine A project A new product A person a profit center, is a part of the business that both revenue and cost are assigned, so that profitability of that part can be measured. Profit center information is needed by the profit center manager, who is responsible for both revenue and costs. The manager has some influence over revenue and cost, in other words, the manager has a say, in the sales and production policies. There is likely to be several cost centers in a profit center. Examples of a profit center A sales division A service division Individual shops in a retail chain A team, for example, a sales team An investment center, is a profit center with additional responsibility for capital investment, and possibly, for financing, its performance is measured, by its return on capital employed. An investment center collects information on costs, revenue, and profit about the value of non-current assets and working capital. Stop the lecture. Answer the question on page 58 of your interactive text study guide. 2. Performance measures are used to measure how well something or somebody is doing compared to a planned activity. The performance measures for cost centers are Productivity, this is a measure of the quantity of the product, output, in relation to the resource, input. It is used to measure how efficiently resources are being used. Cost per unit, equals, total cost divided by the number of units produced. Performance measures for material and labor, includes differences between actual and budgeted performance. Performance can also be measured using the standard hour. Using the standard hour, helps measure the output of a number of dissimilar products that are manufactured, it is the quantity of work achievable at standard performance, measured as a standard unit of work done, in a standard period of time. Standard hours are useful in calculating efficiency, capacity utilization, and production activity or volume. The efficiency ratio, equals, standard hours worked, divided by, actual hours worked, multiplied by 100%. It measures the efficiency of the labor force. The capacity utilization ratio, equals, actual hours worked, divided by, budgeted hours, multiplied by 100%. It measures the extent of planned utilization. The production volume ratio, 
equals standard hours of work produced divided by budgeted hours multiplied by 100% standard hours are useful in calculating efficiency capacity utilization and production activity or volume the efficiency ratio equals standard hours worked divided by actual hours worked multiplied by 100% it measures the efficiency of the labor force the capacity utilization ratio equals actual hours worked divided by budgeted hours multiplied by 100% it measures the extent of planned utilization the production volume ratio equals standard hours of work produced divided by budgeted hours multiplied by 100% stop the lecture answer the question on page 60 of your interactive text study guide Ratios and percentages are very useful as performance measurement techniques. The performance measure for profit centers are Profit margin, profit to sales ratio, equals, profit divided by, sales, multiplied by, 100%. To calculate the profit margin, usually the operating profit is used. It is calculated as follows. Operating profit, equals, sales, excluding sales tax, which in South Africa is VAT, less cost incurred during operations. The gross profit margin, equals, gross profit, divided by, sales, multiplied by, 100%. Gross profit equals, sales, excluding sales tax, which is VAT, less, cost of goods sold. When target profits are not met, there are further ratios that can help shed some light on the problem. Production cost of sales, divided by, sales. Distribution and marketing costs, divided by, sales. Administration costs, divided, by sales. Subsidiary ratios can be used to examine the problem in greater detail. For example, for production costs, the following ratios can be used. Material cost, divided by, sales value of production. Work labor cost, divided by, sales value of production. Production overheads, divided by, sales value of production. Stop the lecture. Answer the question on page 62 of your interactive text study guide. The performance measure for investment centers are Return on capital employed, ROCE, or return on investment, ROI which equals, profit, divided by, capital employed, multiplied by, 100%. It shows how much profit has been made compared to the resources invested. There may be a number of ways to calculate ROCE, but net profit, profit before interest and tax, is usually used, non-operational assets should be excluded from capital employed used, and an average capital employed, should be used. There are two principal comparisons that can be made with return on capital employed, ROCE, or return on investment, ROI. The return on capital employed earned by other entities and the change in return on capital employed from year to year. Residual income is an alternate way to measuring the performance of an investment center, it measures the center's profits after deducting a notional or imputed interest cost. Residual income, equals, pre-tax profits less a notional interest charge for invested capital. Asset turnover measures, how efficiently the assets of a business are being used. It equals, sales, divided by, capital employed. Bear in mind that it is an absolute figure, not a percentage. Asset turnover is important because it shows how efficient the assets or the capital of the business are being used, but it is also important because it is part of return on capital employed. ROCE, equals, asset turnover, multiplied by, net profit margin. Which equals, sales revenue, divided by, capital employed, multiplied by, net profit, divided by, sales revenue. Which equals, net profit divided by, capital employed. Stop the lecture. Answer the question on page 64 of your interactive text study guide. This is the end of chapter 4. What will follow next is the quick quiz. After the quick quiz.
Do the online questions for Part B Chapter 4. Quick Quiz Question 1. A function or department of an organization that is headed by a manager who has direct responsibility for its performance is called A. A profit center B. An investment center C. A cost center D. A responsibility center Question 2. What is the main aim of performance measurement? A. To obtain evidence in order to dismiss someone. B. To establish how well something or somebody is doing in relation to a planned activity. C. To collect information on costs. D. To award bonuses. Question 3. Quantitative measures are expressed in numbers whereas qualitative measure are not. Is this true or false? Question 4. Place the correct letters in the boxes. ROCE, equals, box, divided by, box, multiplied by 100%. Profit margin, equals, box, divided by, box, multiplied by 100%. A. Profit. B. Capital employed. C. Sales. Question 5. Which one of the following is the correct formula for asset turnover? A. Sales, divided by, capital employed. B. Net profit, divided by, sales. C. Capital employed, divided by, sales. D. Sales, divided by, net profit. After doing the quick quiz, do the online questions for Part B, Chapter 4. Do the questions, until you achieve 80%. Replay the lecture as needed.